Well, hey there, welcome to day 2237 of What You Up To Now. Sharon Hornell from here. Today we're talking about digital transformation and expectations. For the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, day 72, we're talking about spiritual growth this month, since Easter lands in March this year. And today our topic was our expectation of ourself and of others when it comes to our own spiritual growth and development. Now, sometimes we have expectations of other people about helping us with our spiritual growth and development. Sometimes we have expectations of ourselves, which are unrealistic. And so we talked about, we, we are rating ourselves today on a scale of one to 10, one being uh, the least hard on ourselves and 10 being really, really taskmasters and holding ourselves accountable to things. And again, you can see that in a positive or negative way, but the important thing we wanna look at today is, is there a difference between how we treat ourselves and the expectations we have for ourselves and how hard we are on ourselves versus the expectations we have for other people. So we're rating how do we treat other people on a scale of one to 10 as well and seeing if there's a disparity there. And of course I did mine, shared mine and realized, yes, there is a disparity there. So uh, there's some work for me to do in that, ooh, kicked my light, area of spiritual uh, development and growth, which is why we do all these things, why we do something every day to grow. For Supersize Your Business today, our topic is a Adopting and adapting to digital technologies, having a digital transformation in our business. And it is surprising to me every day how many business owners I talk to that are not doing hardly anything when it comes to automating and transforming their business to meet the digital age that we're living in. Uh, COVID, the one, the one thing that came out of that that I appreciate the most is that it had a lot of businesses and a lot of industries that have been dabbling with technology have to make the decision to jump in with both feet. Think of online shopping and different industries like that that were transformed and changed. And they, you know, think of online grocery shopping, being able to shop online and then pick up your groceries or either have them delivered to your house. It's been around for centuries, yet the Digital age, people weren't adopting it. It was expensive. Businesses weren't figuring it out and solving the problem and making it efficient and effective for them until the pandemic hit. And then all of a sudden, anybody that still wanted to stay in business had to figure out a way to make it happen, right? So I don't think, I, I've been in the grocery store now a few times, but for about two years, I didn't go to the grocery store. I physically did not go to the grocery store. And I have other challenges that make it hard for me to get to the grocery store, but I could still go, but now we've got online shopping and we have realized that we saved number one, so much time and energy. Number two, so much money. We're allocating our resources in a much better way than buying everything we see because we go to the store hungry. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that does that. Uh, but we talked about different industries and I shared eight different industries that are, are shining examples of adopting and integrating digital technology and technology throughout their entire organization. Some of my favorite manufacturing, of course, but also retail giants. And again, part of that was because of the pandemic. Part of that was because it's time had come. Banking and financial institutions, healthcare providers, automated automotive industry, hospitality sector, education and e-learning, manufacturing, and then transportation and logistics were just eight industries of the thousands of industries that exist that are embracing and leading the way with respect to digitally transforming their businesses. Now, they still have brick and mortar businesses, but they can reach a much larger audience. So they can be much more efficient and effective. They can engage their customers in multiple platforms and ways, building trust, building their brand, and all kinds of amazing things that help to grow and build and supersize their business. So exciting topic. Um, I am not, I, I admit it, I am not an early adopter of technology, except back in the days of the computer and uh, spreadsheets and things because I was in a highly technical field in my corporate days. And so whether I wanted to be or not, I had to acquire and learn the skills that were necessary to stay on the leading edge of manufacturing and data analysis and decision making and things, which are areas that are available to almost everyone now. And if we use them, we can really help to grow our businesses. So topic for another day. I'm sure we'll talk about it more this year as part of Supersize Your Business. All right, that's all I've got today. If I can help you anyway, please, please ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.